This is a quick look at a future project I picked up today for free. For free on Craigslist. It's in very nice shape. The cabinet, of course, has some scratches on it, but it's in very nice shape. It's almost like it's been refinished or something. Yeah, there's some scratches here, but that's about it. Very nice shape. A few knobs are missing. Oh, one, one more just fell right off. Huh. Um, got some knobs here. Got an extra 80 rectifier tube here. This is a 10 tube radio, and it is a Stuart Warner. It's uh, pretty neat. The tuning doesn't seem to be working. I don't know what the oh that maybe that's power and volume. I don't know what this is. Maybe that's the band selector. It has these uh really neat looking uh feet on it and this like Art Deco flavored vintage look. And in the back, all the tubes are there, which is very nice because some of these old tubes can be very expensive. And it has like the world's largest power transformer. Like, here's my hand next to it. This is like the size of transformer you'd find in those like Macintosh amplifiers or those luxury tube amps this is massive and that's because it has a 25 cycle a transformer because in canada we used to have 25 and 60 hertz uh yeah some places had 25 hertz ac which is just really weird but um that's why the transformer is so big um yeah, this thing has 10 tubes uh, with these metal shields on them, which is pretty neat. And uh, it's a Stuart Warner model R179. So, it has had work done on it. As you can see in here, someone has spliced the speaker wires right here with uh, wire nuts so and some tape. So, yeah, that's... I hope the speaker is still good, but if it's not, I have uh, plenty of replacements in my parts stash. Um, that's about it. I'm not going to work on this or anything, not until I uh, finish up this and uh, this little amp I've been building. Uh, but uh, once I'm finished on those, I will get to work on this. Um, I'm also going to get rid of this. I had been filming a video on this, but it's not going to come out or anything. It was kind of a failure. I'm, uh, I don't have a CRT tester, but I'm fairly certain that this thing is finished. It did make a picture, but it was not good. Um, and I'm just not motivated to work on it. I'm just not motivated to work on this thing. Uh, TVs, it just, this thing sucks. It just has a really anti-service design. You can't really service it that easy. The picture tube has to stay in the cabinet and then the chassis comes out with a ton of bolts and you have to unsolder wires. So this thing, I am afraid, is going to be sold on Craigslist and uh, I'll let someone turn it into a dog bed or a mini bar or something and I'll keep the the chassis out of it for the parts and the tubes but um anyway here's this thing